So I wanted to make a video showing for the Lenovo Z16 some of the settings for the touchpad and the track point. Uh, so the track point, it's, it's somehow it's electronically controlled. I guess it has these piezoelectric buttons underneath and you can you can set how much uh, force is needed to make a click on the touchpad. So, uh, so right now, so you can hear that. So you can, yeah, so I want to show how you uh, change these settings. So if you go into settings, and then Bluetooth and devices right here, and then touchpad. So here's settings, Bluetooth and devices, and then you scroll down. touchpad and there's two places you can make changes so one here it says touchpad feedback get tactile signals when you use your touchpad it just means a click tactile signals uh, you can turn it off in which case you, you can't you can't click it at all so if you open this kind of if you expand this little menu item you have intensity which is basically how much force is needed. So zero is off. So it's the same as turning this off here. And then it goes in steps 25, 50, 75, 100. So 25, just a little bit. 50%. 75. 100 so you get more of a click there and then if you scroll down you have Elon touchpad settings and if you click this you get the click force needed for the pad it's the touchpad itself and as, as well the integrated track point buttons so that the little top section here you can define those uh, individually. And so we get low, medium, and high. And low, medium, and high, it's separate from that other setting we were just looking at. So if you set this to high and set the other one to 100, it like adds them both together. So it's been on medium. And if I set it to high, well, it doesn't sound different, but it, it takes more force and as well these uh, track point buttons. And if I set it to low, the track point buttons. It's a lot easier to do. So if you find yourself kind of clicking it by mistake, you can make it harder to click so you don't you don't accidentally do it. So you can make the whole thing incredibly easy to, to press. You know, if you turn this down to 25%. And then low. I mean, it's almost, almost nothing needed to, to press it. But if you like a little bit more of a tactile sensation. I think even on high... The Surface Book 2, it's a little bit uh, more of a click. That's like a physical click thing. You know, the whole pad, I think, is being depressed. So that, that's a little bit... But this is this is good. I, I, I like this, actually. I haven't had issues with it. I was really dreading because I, you know, I have the X301 and it has some excellent physical buttons for the track point. Um, so I, I thought I was afraid this would be a gimmick. But it, it's actually good. The only issue I kind of find is that because the track pad is so wide... It, it's kind of a reach to get all the way across here, uh, across, because the across to the right. If you're going to do a right click, because this is kind of left click here, and then you got the middle section here. It's got some bumps. So you can feel that, and you can scroll if you hold it down. And uh, oh, it's activating this thing. All right, never mind. Get rid of this. All right, uh, <laughs> but to go to the right, you know, it's a little bit of a reach there. But otherwise, uh, I've been fine with it. So I, I kind of like, what did I have? The touchpad at medium and the buttons on low. And then 
the default was, I think these are the default settings, 50% here, and then medium for the click force for the touchpad and, and low for the buttons. And then there are also some settings for the uh, track point. So we had settings, Bluetooth devices, and mouse. So Bluetooth and devices, and then mouse. You can see it there at the bottom. Yeah. Mouse. So you have mouse pointer speed, and this is this is the same as the control panel. It, uh, when you go to the control panel and select mouse, you can you can slow that down. And it's agonizing. And then, uh, so I like it on, on maximum. You know, here's... And this you can do it, I guess, you know, it's 1, 0 through 20. And you can go anywhere in between. And you can get some, some speed out of that. And then uh, down below, Elon track point for ThinkPad track point settings. This is a different setting for sensitivity. And I like this all the way up as well. Because you can see it, it's also a little bit agonizing when it's on low to get it across the screen. But if you turn it up to high, the combination is pretty good. And I, I, I bring this up because in the, the old days, like the X301, the track point was taller. And they've made them shorter, low profile, as they say, over the years. And I think you get less leverage on the little pointing stick that's in there. So it's harder to to get, you know, the torque on it, to get it across the screen. So, like I have an X1 Carbon 6th Gen and that one isn't quite fast enough for me. But here, these two settings are good. So turn the sensitivity up to high. And then the pointer speed also up to high. You can also, you got that a button in the control panel, like enhance precision and it kind of slows it down a little bit. Uh, if you turn that off, this will this will go faster. But I use a mouse. I plug in a mouse, and it's hard to control the mouse with that turned off. So I just leave it on the enhanced pointer precision option. Yeah. So uh, these are some settings to help out customizing. You know, the touchpad and the track point. Again, I I think the track point and the touchpad are are, are well executed here. I was ready to hate it, um, but you know it's been a week. It's been good. I still use a mouse. I plug in a mouse. That's just. I, th I guess it's always going to be better. I don't know. I guess the you know the X three hundred one was really excellent that track point touchpad setup, and this is good. This is good, but I wouldn't want to, you know, work eight hours a day just just using this. But uh, it, it's good for you know sometimes sometimes to use. So that's what I got. Thank you.